What is going on guys, Caleb Amati here. Welcome to my second tutorial on this channel. Uh, this one's going to be a wallpaper engine tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own um, 2D scene um, wallpaper using the wallpaper editor on wallpaper engine. Um, it's actually quite easy. I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, make a 2D image move like um, like the hair and stuff um, I'm going to be using this wallpaper as a base because um, I already pre-recorded this already but I didn't like how it turned out so I'm going to be redoing it again so this is my redone uh, version of it now if you don't have wallpaper engine I'll leave the link to the program down below in the description um, it costs about four dollars um, um, four dollars US and um, um, yeah it costs about four dollars US I think just open up the steam page here see four dollars US and um, once you bought that install it then you want to go into software and run it after you've installed it. So, um, um, okay, so once you have Wallpaper Engine up, you just want to click on New. Just click, click on the editor, I mean, um, click on New Scene Wallpaper, and then click on 2D. Now, you want to name your project whatever you want, like whatever your project is. I'm just going to call it Arisa Background Tutorial. No. Actually, I'll just name it Type. I'm just going to name it Type. And also, yes, I have a new microphone. It's not, it's, it's, it's better than my previous one. I know that. But it's not like the best microphone ever. Um, so. For the tutorial, I'm actually going to use the same wallpaper that I've already animated, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Give me a second. Um, okay, well, while it's loading, I'll, um, the reason why my voice sounds a little bit weird is because I'm sleep deprived. And um, I've been, I've, because I've been watching a, I've been watching two six-hour streams in a row since last night, around like six o'clock last night. So yeah, that's why I'm really tired. But I'll be making this tutorial anyway, so that's why I'll be like mumbling a little bit, and my voice is going to be a little bit weird. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so once you have your image. You want to click on no map maps and clamp in these. And then you kind of click OK. Okay, so now let's maximize this. Now, to get animations, just like the one here, I'm showing you guys how to animate hair and clothes etc for right now we're gonna animate her hair um we're not gonna animate her fringe because her fringe goes over her eyes and if we do that her eyes will grow all weird because of the way we do this um so yeah you can click on plus add which is on the right hand of the screen you can click on water waves And then click on paint, then value, click all the way, click and drag all the way down to zero, then click clear, and click on show mask. This is really helpful to know where you've actually um, painted um, her. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then click on value again, bring it all the way up to about. 35 or 32 um, click on size and then drag that 
like about 12, to 12 or 13 and then you want to zoom in now to move around the image to move the image around like I am um, just right click and hold and you can like drag it around and stuff to zoom in use the mouse wheel and to actually paint with your brush use your left click so yeah now we're just, I'm just going to quickly do this and then I'll come back Okay, so once you've done this, um, you want to click on scale. You want to drag that until it's around um, on 40 or 30, and you can actually click out a mask now. And as you can see, the hair, hair actually moves pretty. Well, it's like it's blowing in the wind, which is what I did with the previous one. Um, if you want to keep doing it, um, you can put it down to 30, like I said. Um, like that. And then you can also make the speed a little bit slower. A little bit like on two it looks pretty good when it's on two now you're probably wondering why not this part of her hair well the thing is you don't have to animate everything <laughs> on the picture um, as much as I would like to do little plait that she has on her uh, on the part of her hair it's gonna be really hard because it's gonna be like because it's over like the actual shirt, like part of her dress, the top part, of, top part of her dress. Sorry, I'm gonna actually avoid that. Um, but as you can see here, it's a little bit crooked, so I'm actually going to fix that up a little bit. And that's why I don't really like doing stuff over the shirts because it just makes it look really fucking weird. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now, what I'm gonna do now is just animate the bow part. Which is here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did with the... With the hair. This is why I like doing, um, this is why I like animating si simple, um, backgrounds like this because you can, you can actually grow a bit over and it doesn't really matter that much. Um, now when it's on more complex, um, background, like, um, one of my other ones that I've done, it gets a bit more challenging. So, yeah, so I'm just going to do this, like that, Alright, right, we're good. Now we just click on OK. 
now that we've done this, we're going to save it just in case it crashes. Now, I will upload this once it's complete. I'll upload it to my workshop and you guys can, um, you guys can download it from there. Um, I'll leave that in the description. Um, okay, so once we're done with the bar, we're just going to add this, the um, Takra petals that are distant in the background here. Um, we're going to add them through here by click on, clicking on on the, on the add button. Leaves, click on Sakura Blossoms. Um, scale, we're going to do about 10. Um, 10. 10. Wait. Wait, no, no, no. Five. Five. And then leave that on 10, I guess. And then on here, we're going to put on 90. Well, maybe. 85. Okay, so we're done that. And Z. Pretty much, it's just like that, so, yeah. You don't have to have this, this, this the cherry blossom leaves or whatever um, on here. I, I just like putting them on because it looks, looks nice. Now let's add light shafts. Just do the same thing as before. Scale it. You can see it's like that. And then you can edit it. You can overbrighten it. I like putting it on point eighty. Which is actually point eight, but um then color random. You want to just make it all white. The min, and then we'll put it on the gray. So it's like that. Now. I think that is actually pretty good. So. So once that's done, we are going to um, okay. So now, now that it's done, we're actually gonna um, yeah, you can actually add bloom as well, but there's no point <laughs> really. Not when it's like already bright as like really, really bright. So. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to workshop, <laughs> how to upload this to the workshop. So you want to click on Steam, prepare for publishing, you want to name it, um, I'm actually going to name it, um, give me a sec, so we're going to click on here, I'm just copying and pasting. Um, some information from the previous um, wallpaper that I made. Um, BGM one. Um, Arisa, Arisa Summit. I'm so tired, I'm fucking up spilling right now. Um, to hold wallpaper. Um, and a minute to hold wallpaper.
Yeah. Okay, so I don't earn anything, so specify which anime. Here, summit animated Toho wallpaper rating, and then you want to fit on everyone, unless it's like a hentai or a, um, a 3D porn um, thing, which is actually something you're not supposed to post. You're not supposed to put post hentai or porn on wallpaper engine, but people are doing it for some reason. Um, the visibility, you want to click it on, set it on public, but I'm going to put it on private because, um, I will probably release it later. Um, then you just want to click on take snapshot. And then just highlight it. Enter and then publish. Oh, yeah, skin color, you want to do whatever. I normally just leave it black, but I'm just gonna do that. Click on publish, and you're done. And it should be on in your workshop once that's done. And then people will download it, and then yeah. Okay, so about three f failed attempts, I finally got it uploaded. So, here we go. Now you go and click on Show Wallpaper in Workshop. And now this will come up. And, yeah. It's now on the Workshop. People can download it. Um, I will release this later on. I'm not going to release it right now because I still need to um, edit some stuff like um, I need to make it look presentable like like this and I need to upload a, a video for it as well um like I have already um I wish this would hurry up and learn oh my god yeah, just like that. Um, this one's already got 100 subscribers on it. And yeah, it's doing pretty good. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's how you upload stuff to the workshop and animate your um, a 2D picture for the wallpaper engine. I'll leave everything down below, like all the links and stuff down below, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, um, be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to share my videos around, because it really does help me a lot, helps me um, get more views, and with more views, my content will become more popular, and people, well, more people will actually watch it, um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.